he could take his rickety ass, dull ass key back. <laughs> so this doesn't belong in the United States anymore. Damn. All right, guys. Which ones do you want to do? I have a couple of options. I want to do one of those like, regular mask? face masks. Okay, so oh, you want this one. Which one um, do you want to do, Ani? I'll do the avocado. You want avocado? That's like food for the face. I like it. Food for the face. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think mommy's going to do the miracle mask. I need a miracle oh, in my shit. life right now. Ever since I cut the cord with Tom, life's been great. Me and the girls oh, em embracing Christ. life in a, a new way, a new chapter. How does mommy look? Oh. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Ew, it's lopsided. Oh my God, I look like cat lady. Oh, if Tom could see me now. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Ever since the breakup, the girls have been there for me. They said, just stay empowered. Don't let a man get you down. You deserve better. I feel like you came out of an abstract painting, and you look like you came out of a Barbie factory. Mom is Barbie. Oh. <laughs> Where's your Ken? Hopefully coming soon, because <laughs> I'm not really happy with the last one. Or the, one or the last one before the last, in the, in the one or before the last. Or them. Yeah, it's coming. The right one. You guys would feel it, too, I bet. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I haven't felt that in a while. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry, guys. Mommy's trying Don't her best. Don't apologize. You know, Everything happens for a reason. True, and maybe... Be and that's the good thing about it. You're you right. Know? I want you guys happy, and that's all that matters. You guys come first. My girls have seen me go through heartache and pain and bad relationships, but I think I've been the best role model I can be for my daughters. And I'm excited that Tom is out of my life for good. Time to get a new car soon. Out with the old and with the new. I was thinking maybe the Jaguar. Mm, Maserati one, maybe. Mm, it's nice. It's Italian. Italian Stallion. <laughs> I'm the bigger, I'm better. Mm-hmm. I see you with like a millionaire billionaire. Something better. It's been a couple weeks since I last saw Tom. It was really hard to move on, but I'm excited, you know, to recreate my vision of how I see my future. You're starting fresh. I'm and starting fresh, so Casey. Oh, trust good. me, I'm, I'm done. Yep. I'm good. I'm I'm happy. And you're manifesting something new in life and releasing the old. No more negativity. No more yeah. of this energy around me. There's no going back, ever. No more I'm sorry's or. I need to know what the what the father is like. Uh, a chatter pointed this out. Said that like uh, the father, oh my god, no, I'm saying father, like Jesse. The father must be putting in work like behind the scenes for them to be so well adjusted and shit. <laughs> cause like, cause like they just seem totally normal, and there is zero shot that it's a consequence of the uh, incredible parenting from the mother. <laughs> I don't know. It's crazy. I loved you like a sister or wh whatever else he was trying to say. Excited to rid the negative and bring in the new. Yeah. I've made some bad choices in relationships, and I can blame myself for that. I just need to learn from it and use this time to love myself, better myself, and focus on my family. We're fighters. We're gonna stay strong and not give up on what we deserve and desire, which is, you know, happiness and, and love. I know. If Michael was here, he would never let Tom or any of my exes treat me like this. I know, nurse. He was our protector. Always will be. Our big brother. 
You know, he's in heaven now and watching over us and the kids and well, he'll always be with us. When my brother Michael was 24 years old, he was diagnosed with a very rare form of cancer called Ewing sarcoma. He passed away July 11th, 1998 at the age of 27. And he fought as hard as he could. What the fuck? He was our rock. He, you know, had so much strength. And he was our protector. I feel him with me every day. And every time we go through a rough patch, we want to spend time with him. Dude, what the fuck? Your 90 day fiance is fucked for this, dude. Like, they, they're kind of fucked. This is like wrong, dude. This is. They're just like. There's a keep it rolling. Keep it rolling. Oh, Michael. Oh, Michael. 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 Miss you so much. I got you your favorite flowers. There's some flowers. You're the best brother in the whole wide world. We miss you. Doing B-roll in the cemetery? Yeah. It was one of a kind. He was one of a kind. Family's everything to us. Our kids, they're our priority. They're our number one. Our brother, we miss him and love him so much. Bro, literally, like, producer brain for night. For, the Learning Channel producer brain is like, okay, well, the fucking Tom and Darcy saga is now over because, like, low-key Darcy was like, nah, I'm going to do me. I'm just, like, not going to fucking put up with this uh, for the sake of content no more. So they're like, all right, well, how about we find, uh, how about we go to your dead brother's grave? That could be, that could make for some nice B-roll, dude. Much. He was a good person and loyal and loving. Darcy deserves someone like that in her life. He'd want better. He'd want better for you right now, Darcy. Wait, True. does TLC actually stand for the Learning Channel? Uh, yeah. This is where you learn incredibly important things like uh, so many, so many important things like how the American immigration system works or how there is an ad at the top of every hour where, uh, but you can also learn that you can avoid those ads by subscribing, uh, even though they're just a 60 second ad break. You know what I mean? Uh, and that you can subscribe for free with a Twitch prime or that you can use a VPN or fucking ad blocker. You've learned so many things, dude. <laughs> That's a 9 out of 10, dude. Come on. Motherfucker's saying 8 out of 10. That's a 9 out of 10, dude. Come on. No one saw that coming. Oh, jeez. This could have been filmed as a spinoff show that was confirmed. Oh, Love. probably. Happiness and health. He would have already said... Tom's not the one for you. I know. He would have known. He would have known. But he knows He knows we're a little stubborn in love. But well, you know what? Michael is a real man. Yeah. He, he was. He was always loyal. And he was always strong. there for his, his, his girls. You know? I mean, he loved love. Yeah. He loved being in love. Like us. Yeah. You know? He wore his heart on his sleeve, too. What the Thank fuck? you for loving us and letting us realize what we deserve. Bro, I kind of don't want to watch the rest of this. This is like... I feel now. right now I can just breathe. 
I can just move forward with my head and heart held high because family. Dude, I can't fucking watch like 12 minutes cut up into like two minute sequences where she just keeps saying over and over again that she's going to get better now. Like, come on, give me, give me like a fucking. And at least look at this photo of Darcy. Okay, dude, that's the final evolution. All right. <laughs> yeah, we're done with this, but apparently Tom Brooks is, is like. Tom Brooks hasn't been winning over too many fans amongst 90 day fiance viewers. Recently, a fan commented on one of his Instagram posts as Tom Brooks. Why don't you call Darcy when it was her birthday? Poor girl was so upset. She didn't call me for mine. When I asked whether he thought he was being immature, baby Tom responded, I know you are, but what am I? Wow, that's fucking really good. Things got worse when fan noticed Tom Brooks was liking Instagram posts meant to disparage Darcy Silva. I read her notice that Brooke liked an image. Oh my God. This is like, this is like Minecraft stands, but for 90 day fiance and they're all fucking like middle-aged adults. Uh, doing this like doing this kind of tracking like the image throwing shade at silva's cosmetic procedures and general appearance a redder user wrote he should not be doing that he knows darcy well enough to know that she's terribly insecure she may have been clingy and weepy while they were dating but she never did anything to hurt him she didn't scam him out of money hit him belittle him cheat on him nothing another user opined for all the errors he put on he sure is classless i mean yeah we have well not <laughs> 90 DF MC twit community. Yeah, no, her, her plastic surgery transformation is crazy, dude. Like is wild. They were getting mommy makeovers. I don't know what. So deep into lore, found out that Darcy and Stacey were on a TLC show called Twin Life with her now ex-husband. What the fuck? Oh, Jesus. Bro, my mom is asking you to keep watching, bro. You got her hooked. Darcy and Stacey now have their own show on TLC. Okay, these are like the least flattering photos you can find, too. They're not exactly... Oh, Jesus Christ. <sighs> oh, my God. This whole show is probably scripted. It's not like... It is scripted, but it's scripted like with producers egging people on and finding out what their insecurities are. Husband is I'm Darcy, 12. and I'm Stacy. We're two busy moms and wives who dream of making and showbiz. Oh, and did I mention we're twins and we live under one roof? There's always a double dose of drama in our world. What the fuck? Dude, what? Dude, what? Welcome to the twin life. Oh my god, there's a jingle, dude. They like literally made a this was like a full blown show. Hollywood. They live in a fucking McMansion in Connecticut and drive a 94 Civic. What do you mean, Hollywood, dude? We're about to see our kids. We haven't seen them in a couple days. We've been so working in the of. city. Quite a long time for yeah. us to be away from, you know, the cuties. So, we miss them so really much. to get back and give them their hug. Wait, she has kids too? Hugs and lots of loving. And when we come home, it's the best feeling. Them running up to us, hugging us. Mommy, you're home. We love you. Hello, my baby. Okay, it's clear that like 
The fucking doll. The, I didn't even realize the twin had children. Darcy and I bedrooms kind of match when you see her bathroom. She basically designed everything. You know, very unique, eclectic, -y, very retro, and yeah. glam at the same time. The same similar, kind of like overboard with the pillows, but. Bro, what is this? Why would you have a photo of yourself on your bed next to your bed? That's so weird. I just don't understand why people have this many pillows. Like, you will never convince me that. Oh, and yeah. at the same time. Let me just say something, okay? This is unacceptable, dude. What the fuck? She's even got a chair to hold more pillows, dude. Why do you have so many pillows? What's going on? And, and I've talked about these pillows before. Listen. Pillows are supposed to be fluffy and wonderful and you like put your head on them and it doesn't hurt. Those pillows are always so uncomfortable, dude. You, you, you think like, oh, this is going to be sick. Look at all these pillows. And then you jump on the bed and they're like fucking, there's like little beads and shit on the pillows. They like get stuck in your eye. It's terrible, dude. Same similar... Kind of like overboard with the pillows, but and I'm probably gonna, gonna, like, gonna be like, whatever. I like sparkles. You're wearing a photo of yourself. Yeah, it's fucking fan art. I'm celebrating you guys when I do this, just like I have a bunch of other like artwork and shit that you guys have sent me of me. But like, I don't have a fucking photo of myself on, next to my bedside, dude. What the fuck? We yeah. hate when you celebrate us, lol. Yeah, that's so weird. A little bit different, smaller. No. We're redoing this area. So watch your step. Yeah. This is their room. Black, white, and gray, kind of boyish stuff. So we're gonna care about the, uh, the black and white theme, like for the girls' room as well. It's like a fun room, something they can grow into eventually. Probably one of these little babies. Mateo. Aniko and Aspen, their little baby pictures. It's our dad's room, so kind of did it more towards him, something he would like. Uh, you yeah. have a little group shot. This is oh, great. You, you guys organized all your toys? We're going yeah. to the dungeon. Yeah. Workout room slash Frank's mm. office. My husband, Frank, is a new up and coming rapper. Oh, She's my number one fan. That's my number two fan. The other one's my number two fan. We met in New York, and you know, the rest is history. We if you could. Okay, we need to listen to his raps. Are you fucking kidding me? Look at that haircut, dude. Oh my god, I have the same haircut. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, dude. Okay, um... Yeah, what a fucking clown. Who does that? <laughs> okay, let's hear what he has to... You know, do a job that you really love. Shut the fuck up. Probably these days for all they worth to save the home by a dome of birth. Reverence in dire dirt, insane pain or tame mother earth. Why will waste these days for all their work to save the home by a dome of birth? Reverence in dire dirt, insane pain or tame mother earth. May seem unreal. How is one inanimate if one can feel? Acid rain falls down like tears. Evolve through billions of years. No jest, best reap, keep it protected. Not neglected, but respected. Tidal waves, floods, and earthquakes. Human extinction will raise the stakes. Speed it up, speed it up. Double time, make haste. What a waste to be wasted in our own waste. Not fictional, but factual. Actually, it's actual. Yearn to return to a Bro, he literally said, I love my job. Like, like he's got like a nine to five doing raps, dude. Yo, this is the worst thing I've heard. Except like, this is some straight ICP shit, okay? Uh, and 
it's like Lincoln Park. You know what I mean? Like, I guess back then, maybe this shit was popping off or something. I don't know. Oh my God. Chatter's doing a fucking self-report by saying they actually like it. Oh my Lord. Balance that is natural. Be it a task or better yet duty. Perseverance to preserve what is shown through nature's beauty. When recycled through the cycle, what's recycled is a must. Ashes again are ashes which remain pertain to dust. I'm praised these days for all their work to save the home by a dome of birth. Okay, who the fuck raised these girls, bro? I don't understand. Like, I, I literally don't understand. If that's the dad and that's the mom, like, how the fuck do they come out so normal? In dire dirt, insane pain, ordained mother earth. I will raise these days for all their work to save the home by a dome of birth. Reverence in dire dirt, insane pain, ordained mother earth. The machine rages on and with it my rage. Cause I've seen remain keen to industrial age. Adding to all the turmoil, what the fuck is up with oil? I'm not victim, but I spoil getting people's butt to boil. Like a storm represented all that is wise. Rules this is so crazy, dude. It's like woke rap, kind of. I mean, he's an Amprim. Maybe that's why. It's like... A disguise, origin, disguise. Energy to the surface, which is known as force. On course with the plan, straight from the source. Each season, I would reason, play for treason. Yes, so send me now, abide by my side. For those that to come against me, million light years away. But today, here on this planet, many wait, contemplate, indicate, but never ban it. Continuing destruction, the destroyers now employ. At this junction, find my function, the destroyers be destroyed. A new beginning, just beginning. Many couldn't comprehend that within each new beginning, there must also be an end. I'm always these days for all their work to save the home. By a dome of birth, reverence in dire dirt, insane pain, ordained mother earth. I will raise these days for all their work to save the home. By a dome of birth, reverence in dire dirt, insane pain, ordained mother earth. That man, Jack Harlow. The more you know, boys. And pay the bills, you found one of the meanings of life right there, you know what I mean? I met Goran in Houston, Texas. He was playing professional soccer. He came from Serbia. And just, it was kind of like a love at first sight kind of thing. Oh, I'm playing for the last 20 years. Just retired right now, I'm trying to become a, a professional coach. He didn't speak any English at the time. I remember him just saying, hello, my name is Goran, but he had this really thick accent and I actually thought his name was Gordon. I have my own company called Goran Vasi Soccer Academy. I won two championships, one in Cleveland in 97 and uh, one in Philadelphia 2001. Mm. What? Don't get it on me. I don't know, we butt heads a lot. Shoot, don't rip them. Those things cost $8. What the heck is that, Darcy? It's a hoodie sock, Oh Stacey. my god. She just tends to always complain or find, find something to, you know, tick me off a little. Bro, is he an indoor soccer player? Like, what happened? Bit, so, got a little padding thing. You always buy your shoes two sizes small anyway. Stacey and I are getting ready for a big appearance on the Today Show with Kathy Lee and Hoda. Yes, we so have. Darcy and Darcy Stacey. And Stacey. I figured, why not do double two with, with twins? With twins. Oh, yes. And they actually have their own reality show coming in. What? So. Today we're going to do the tarot. What year was this? Ernst J event for the 106 in Park, Toys for Tots. We bumped in free. We bumped into the flying steps. What the fuck? Stacey and I are getting ready for our first music video. It should be exciting, and fun, good experience. And we've met an amazing person, Chris Taylor from the New York Giants. And he has cancer. For every, you know, scar that he has, he covers up with a tattoo. He was just a great person to know and meet. And, um, you know, we wish him all the best. Tonight, we're going to the Sachika Twin. Bro, people really thought that this was sick in, like, the 2000s. You all laugh, but like, we're going to fucking look back at what we're doing in 2021 and be like, what the fuck were we doing like 20 to 30 years from now? Twins birthday party and fashion show. We're so excited. We love those girls. It's twins happy, baby! Woo!
Like you could just literally be a twin and have a TV show in the, in the two thousands. Like that was it. They were just like, yeah. They were just like straight up. You, oh, you're a twin. Go ahead. Here's a TV show for you. We'll always do anything for them. Also, those twins are kind of hot. Like no meme. their show was unbelievable their fashions are amazing their we're on fashion. our way to do our first photo shoot with james kriegsman we're really excited to see our new shots and see how they come out great yeah great job So I have a great a thing for you guys to do today, which is to meet with an amazing, amazing casting agency called Matchbook Company. Hi, I'm Stacy, casting director of Matchbook Company. It's great to meet you. Me too. Stacy as well. <laughs> we work with a lot of fashion and beauty brands, helping them find the next face for their campaign. And we're always looking for up and comers, fresh faces, and people with a lot of edge and a different look that can really bring a personality to a brand. Definitely, I want to send you guys on some go-sees to some clients. Would be awesome. Love that. We're going to Med Spa 1064 with Dr. J. We're so excited. <laughs> Good to see him. We're changing the show. You? Beautiful. Oh no, this is the guy that fucked their lives up. Like we're watching the fucking development of something not so great. You know what I mean? Like shit just went downhill from here. Everything was good, you know? And then the Fire Nation attack. Aww. We're gonna be getting Thermage done. And what Thermage does, it's a way to introduce heat through the skin and, and try to get that collagen to tighten like this. It was amazing. We feel so refreshed and new and youthful and young again. My relationship with my father is very important. Guys! He's just a very dedicated and you know hard hardworking person. So Stacy and I just kind of want to emulate him and make him proud of what we do and where we go in, in life. I'm proud of them as children and as a parent. And uh, you know, I think it's, uh, I'm here to help them as best I can, to a point. Everything he has done, he has done in honor of our brother. Uh, Michael passed away um, in 98 from Ewing sarcoma. Any issues or stress or problems that I encounter in business won't be anywhere close to the fight that he fought. You're the best brother in the whole wide world. You know, we couldn't have asked for another brother. When Jasmina was diagnosed, um, January 09, people said like, oh, the fuck was that? Just like a photo of a random young black girl? What the fuck was that? Oh, leukemia nowadays, very treatable. And then you like do your research and there's a lot of people who pass away. And it's not so treatable because there's so many different complex type types of leukemia. So it's it's way more complicated than people think. Can you tell us a little bit about, um, you know, if we were to ever donate bone marrow, how do we go about that? Oh, it's just, uh, it's just like taking blood. Okay. It's nothing because they extract it from the blood. So sad when you see, you know, little kids sick, you know, and fight for those Bro, kids. Am I you know, dreaming right now? What the really? fuck? What, why is it, why is Obama? We're getting ready for Thanksgiving. Okay, what's the problem? I was doing it. I asked you for a favor. I was doing it. I was doing it. God, what the fuck? Is she cutting the pasta with a knife, dude? Really excited to share it with the family and friends. She's more like her, her brother. Darcy's Darcy. <laughs> I think it's very vital to rock or rock. That's rock or rock. Here we go. We were close, especially all of us kids. It was only. Okay. Just 
throw the whole show out. And just have that guy rap the entire time. I'm not even kidding. That's the whole show. Throw the show out and have the dude rap. I've never, I've never hated something more. It's, it's crazy. Almost like we're all one family, immediate family. Here we are at Native Studio, about to do the Twin Life soundtrack with Frank Lucas. It's gonna be hot. Yeah, I like the background. <laughs> In essence, with the presence, simply setting the pace. Scanning camera panning as they enter the place. With their guy nationwide, they truly yeah. taking pride by the side, coast to coast. When I tell her, I mean every single quote. It's all about the girls, cause I meant what I wrote. Throw them a parade, let them have their own float. We're gonna, we're gonna do a lot of good in the world, right, Aspen? <laughs> Where they coming from, everybody wanna know, everybody wanna know how they got their own show. It is what it is, so we're keep really black. Okay, come here. <laughs> He's like doing a self-report on the fucking on the rap, like, yeah, everybody wanna know how they got their own show. Ain't nobody know though, but don't worry about it no mo. That's the fofo. -fo. It is what it is, he said. Dude, honestly, 2008 to 2011 was a monstrous time. It was also great, but also terrible. Dude, this is crazy, dude. How did they get their own show? Darcy X has been stopped rapping and got a job in sales at a real estate brokerage firm before, before becoming a co-owner of a seven-room vacation lodge in the Catskill Mountains. What the fuck? and just take pride in what we have and so that one day you know we can you know help others everybody want to stay lights camera action in the heart of times square yeah this is so good i mean it's just there's nothing else this is this is it the twin life boys I'm convinced that in the 2000s, they didn't know what would sell, so they just tried a bunch of random shit. Is it just me, or is the 2000s pop era really uncomfortable? It reminds me of an economic bubble bursting, but it's execs taking advantage of young people and ruining their lives. And now they're all fucked up, and it's sad to watch. I don't know what you're talking about, dude. It's some fucking crazy-ass content. What? No. We're going to ignore she says she was black, right? Wait, who said? What? Did I miss that? Wait, did they say they're... What? Bro, why is this? They made this in 2018? No shot. No shot. Someone in the year 2018 was like, this is fucking, this is a jam. Like, this is like 2009 music, dude. There's no way. Am I just, did the vaccine fuck me up, dude? Like, did, <laughs> what am I watching right now? Am I fucking hallucinating, dude? What is happening? <laughs> like, this is the most insane shit, dude. Cool. 
No, this was released on 2018. What? No, this is literally released on 2018, dude. It says released on 2018. <laughs> what? It's like, is this what, is this cyber pop, dude? <laughs> Yo, kids will listen to fucking 100 gex unironically and then turn around and be like, this sucks. This is crazy. I've never seen some shit like this. You actually fuck with his music? No. Father is financing this. He's the one who made all of his money in China. Oh my God. It's like their fashion brand is dog shit. Like how the fuck are they making money? They both divorced their uh, husbands on the same day. This is crazy, dude. Okay. Listen, I'm getting really fucking tired, boys. I gotta... I I don't know if this is the fucking, I don't know if it's, it's the, it's the, uh, it's the vaccine or if it's like, uh, this, if it's Darcy, it honestly could be Darcy. I don't know what's going on right now, but I'm going to fucking, I'm going to, I'm going to tap out boys. Okay. And, uh, it's probably a combination of both. I'm fucking dying right now. Um, not, not dying. Like I don't feel bad or anything. I just like, I'm, I'm a little hot and also a little tired. I'm going to hit the three minute ad break here and then I'm okay. I'm all right. I'm all right. Um, I, there's nothing wrong. I just like, um, I just, I'm feel tired. It could also be because I woke up at six and like have been up and like running around and working out and stuff like that. Drake follows Darcy Silva on Instagram. Shut the fuck up. Oh, Jesus Christ. Anyway, I'm watching, uh, I'm watching Invincible. Pretty good. Um... So let me know how your new mommy milkers, uh, feel. Yeah, dude, I'm, I'm getting new titties boys. That's what's happening. Okay. I'm getting titties that look like Darcy after all this. Um, the microchip is taking our favorite stream right now. Okay, guys, chill the fuck out. It's not like that at all. Um, Anyway, uh, I love you all. And, uh, here. Let's see. Here, I'll give you guys a. Of you guys a a, a fucking uh, give you a little no pixel fix, you know. Aid Mubarak to everybody, and uh, here I'll read Garrick. Okay, love you all, and I will see you.
Oof. I will see you tomorrow. Okay. Sorry about uh, ending it early like this, but fucking tired. All right. Bye.